Okay, today is a very exciting day. Um, I've only seen this candy made in my life maybe like three times, and this is one of my favorite candies. Um, so today's a big day. TikTok's been waiting for this one. What are we making, Dad? We're making honeycomb today. Yes. All right, so what we have here is a mixture of sugar, water, and corn syrup, just like candy canes, very similar. It's been cooking for about 35, almost 40 minutes now. So it's just about up to temperature. We're at uh, almost 300 degrees, so we're gonna shut her down. And we'll pull out the thermometer first, just like we do with the candy canes. And it is very, very warm. Like I said, almost just about 300 degrees. And then we're gonna add some ingredients to it. For first, we're gonna start out with a little bit of gelatin. It's been diluted and mixed in water. So I'm just gonna add this in here like this. And then we'll mix that all up. With some water in with it, so you're gonna see the steam come up. That's a little bit of the water just kind of melting, evaporating away. There's a mixture of the gelatin. Next, we're gonna add some vanilla. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. We'll mix in the vanilla. It's all gonna sink down into the middle here. And then last step, but not least, we're gonna add our salt and soda mix, which is where it turns it into honeycomb and will make it rise. So we got it all mixed in now. So I'll take my pre-mixed mix here, and pour that all in. Whip it around very similar to peanut brittle, but no peanuts in it. And mix it all up nice and make sure everything's mixed in here. And you'll we'll sure see it turn to a kind of a white, bubbly froth, if you will. That's it. Now it's going to rise for about four to seven minutes or so. And then when it gets way over the top of the kettle, we're going to pour it right onto the table, let it cool down, chop it up, then dip it in chocolate. It's delicious. You'll love it. This would be a really bad time to drop my phone. Yes. <laughs> How would you describe honeycomb? Well, I tell people honeycomb is a malt ball texture. So anybody likes malt balls, it's like that same texture of a malt ball where it's kind of light and airy inside, but it's a peanut brittle flavor. No peanuts in it, but it's a peanut brittle crunch or a flavor to it. So a malt ball texture with a peanut brittle flavor. You can see it just rising slowly to the top. Has it ever fallen out? Nope, I'm not going to get that far. I stand here, I have to stand here and watch it, otherwise it'll just go right over the edge. It's kind of like the blob, it just keeps growing and growing. Mind of its own. Now this is one of the few other things that we make right here on the front slab, just like we do the candy canes and the ribbon candy. And we're gonna pour, one of the tougher things to make, probably not quite as hard as candy canes, but you do have to be careful because it can flop very, very even, easily. So I'm gonna pick it up now, you can see it's way over the top of the kettle. And we're just gonna pour it right on the table here. It's just like one big giant marshmallow or something there. Gonna give it a little shake here. There we go. And I've got my scraper here so we can scrape it right out. And just kind of a strange looking thing here. A lot of times people walk by and they think, what in the world did you make a mistake with in the front window? <laughs> So now it actually grows a little bit more on the table here. It does grow a little bit, but once it starts to cool, it'll fall just slightly. It'll be about so thick in the middle and maybe so thick on the outsides. Then we'll just take our knife and start to chop it up in little pieces, dip it in chocolate, and it is amazing. So it's gonna be a very tasty piece. I'm just gonna pick a little piece off the side of the kettle here. It's still very, very warm. Mm. Almost like cotton candy in the beginning. Mm. I want some. I've got a piece right there. I just wanna burn myself. It's good. Oh, that little string. Mmm, that's so good. So it's pretty much all done at this point. We've got it on the slab. It's going to be cooling for almost two hours. Got to get it completely cool before you start chopping it up. Otherwise, you smash those little air bubbles that are in there, the honeycomb, if you will, and you make the pieces flat. So the key is to make it nice and fluffy and kind of wide, but it will set apart and it will chew up just like that inside malt ball texture. It is going to be great.